InfoWater Pro includes a number of applications to help speed up and streamline your model building and analysis, as well as boost productivity. When you open InfoWater Pro, you will come to the apps icon in the top left corner, which will open the apps manager. As you will see, you have access to the demand allocator, backtracing, criticality assessment manager, pressure zone manager, and a number of other connected apps right out of the box. Demand allocation is an important part to any good hydraulic distribution model. And this is why demand allocation is now a part of every InfoWater Pro installation. Our demand allocation manager includes being able to extract demand from polygons, um, meters within polygons, closest junction, closest pipe, and then being able to distribute those demands along the pipe in a number of different ways. Once your demand is allocated, you can even verify that your demands are being allocated to the correct junction, and if you have to make a change, you can easily do so in a number of different and very flexible ways. The Criticality Assessment Manager app, now available within InfoWater Pro, allows you to efficiently assess multiple valves within a network and point out which would have the most impact were a failure to occur. By looking at the results provided, you're able to identify critical areas and what valves are needed to be closed in case of a shutoff event. This helps customers minimize failure events as well as look at the impacts if failure events were to occur. Customers also have the ability to color code the maps to look at the nodes and pipes within the different assessment areas. One of the ways InfoWater Pro can model better than a standard EPA net model is by looking at and incorporating pressure dependent demands. You see here in a standard simulation, the pressure goes down into the negatives dramatically because we're assuming the demand can actually be fulfilled. When in reality, just because the demand might be great doesn't mean a node can actually supply uh, that demand. So here you see in InfoWater Pro we've added pressure dependent demand analysis where you can input curves and specify certain junctions to be reliant on pressure dependent demands and others may run as a standard uh, model. Now after we've run pressure dependent demands and we look at that junction again, we can see how the demand uh, has now been adjusted for and the pressure is now not dropping into the negatives, a smarter way to model. InfoWater Pro allows for easier collaboration and file sharing internally through the use of InfoWater Sync. You access InfoWater Sync by choosing the project button at the top left corner and going down to the InfoWater Sync button near the bottom of the list. This will open a dialog box and you'll see that on the left you have your master project, the project saved on your network drive, and on the right the local project. You are able to pull down the master file or upload the local file and replace the one in the master project. By clicking the check button, you're able to check the connection. And once this is completed, the version and user for each will be displayed, showing when the last save for each was completed and which user it is attributed to. The benefit of InfoWater Pro is the interface that it exists in, ArcGIS Pro. ArcGIS Pro is a full 64-bit interface in which InfoWater Pro fits into nicely as simply an additional tab. InfoWater Pro can access all the additional benefits included in ArcGIS Pro, such as unique display properties, geoprocessing tools, and the 3D interface you see here. This can lead to unique conclusions when you're able to graph your pressure head on the Z-axis. Being an ArcGIS Pro also allows for easy access to ArcGIS Online, such as this published Fireflow feature map. InfoWater Pro allows for easier project collaboration by taking advantage of the ArcGIS online gateway. When collaborating on projects, it is important to ensure everyone is working off the same information. So when changes are made in InfoWater Pro, you can connect to the online gateway and have the ability to push your model and analysis results to ArcGIS online. Once it is uploaded, the updated model and results can be viewed through the online portal. Customers also have the ability to connect their InfoWater Pro model to the GIS gateway and pull the most up-to-date information into the model. The system schematic view provides an alternate view of your model and is a helpful tool for reviewing your different pressure zones. 
Pressure zone calculations are summarized and updated on the right hand panel of the system schematic view and are updated based on the time step. And important features like tanks, pumps, and valves which may separate pressure zones can be easily found in the system schematic view. The system schematic can show your network with min and max heads elevations or in a helpful connector view to see how your zones might fit together and be easily selected. In addition, pressure zone reports can be easily visualized and printed with just a few additional clicks. The Control Center Overview provides users a place to check controls for assets within your model. Once open, a user can see initial conditions, basic control, rule control, variable speed pumps, rotary control valves, as well as the initial head for tanks or reservoirs. By using the control center, you're able to come into the initial condition and change it to different off, on, none, or setting. You also have the ability to zoom to an asset to open the controls for modification. InfoWater Pro is paving the way for better calibration practices by providing a suite of options to more efficiently tie live field data to our hydraulic models. InfoWater's live data adapter can connect to pressure sensors, tank levels, pump statuses, and flow meters, and much more to better compare hydraulic modeling simulations to field readings. This allows for more robust calibrations and more meaningful model results. It's easy to tell when measured data may be falling out of sync with our modeling simulations. From the gap summary here, it's also easy to start to compare what are some of those live readings to some of my simulated results in a number of different ways. We can either view these live data results in comparison to our model results through the gap analysis tool or through the standard report manager functionality within InfoWater Pro. But InfoWater Pro can do more than just bringing in live SCADA data. In addition to that, we can also look at demand patterns and import demand patterns from live data sources such as Info360 Insight to InfoWater Pro to better calibrate our diurnal curves within our hydraulic model. And InfoWater Pro can even adjust run simulations to tie to SCADA data within our standard modeling simulations.